Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel y'all. How are you? It's so good to have you guys back. I am so, so happy to have you here Libra. Welcome to your love and general forecast. I hope you guys are feeling well. I hope you guys are feeling fantastic. I do want to go ahead and say welcome to your March 15th through the 31st love and general forecast and I hope you guys are doing well I hope you guys are feeling great and um, wow we are here towards a beautiful airy season so welcome super excited also you guys um, I just want to go ahead and say big, 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 big thank you to all of you who have donated to the channel because Libra, you have been the most generous, one of the most viewed, one of the most, the most liked, shared, and subscribed. So please continue to support the channel. Please continue to do so. Okay. Also, if you guys want to join me on my Instagram, I have a beautiful beautiful small but growing community on there if you guys would like to join me and I also have my donation links if you guys are interested I have my PayPal I have my indie deck wishlist and I have my Amazon wishlist as well thank you again also I am um, holding giveaways you guys I also offer complimentary healing sessions for, for those of you who are interested so yes let's go ahead and see what is happening with you my Libras oh yes I am into this Oh, I am getting a lot of energy here, Libra. Okay, so let's talk about what's happening here. March 15th through the 31st, a lot of you guys are moving away. I'm having a vision of movement away on a boat. Wow. I even said movement away on a boat. Okay. So a lot of you guys right now you're moving to calmer waters something has recently happened i am getting a lot of turmoil or it almost feels like a tsunami of emotion something that has recently shifted for you um, there's a lot of anxiety around movement but i want you to know that whatever it is that you're moving to or wherever it is that you're moving to, things are going to be looking amazing. But right now, some of you are dealing with a blocked heart chakra. Okay, Libra, your ancestors are here, and they are asking you to please find a new path. Something about finding a new path, Libra. They're saying, how, you know, hold space for a vision. Have a visionary kind of mentality this at the end of the month, you guys. Water, creation, something is blocked in terms of your creativity because you guys do not want to allow yourselves to feel something, okay? So if you guys have been through a lot in your life and you have closed yourself off, you don't want to feel something, yeah? So we do have home, we have earth, yeah? So this could be also revolving around your home life. Something is really boiling here, Libra. Something is happening on the home front. Something is really happening in terms of wanting to create a, a home for yourself or you're trying to figure out where is home? Where can I call home? Why do I feel so restricted or why do I feel so confused? Yeah? So I am feeling that a lot of you guys right now, you are in a place, we have magnetism, attraction in reverse. My loves, listen, a lot of you are worried. There's a worry here. A lot of you guys are worried about your manifestation. You're worried about, you see this, it, it's almost like you guys are trying to manifest something really important in your life right now, okay? 
but you're manifesting against yourself because there is a lot of fear. There is a lot of fear around home. Some of you guys are, are making drastic changes in order to create a future or you're doing things that are not really in alignment with who you are. It's like you're doing something that's incredibly drastic here. Okay, and this is, this is with the attraction in reverse, you guys, you're not attracting what you deserve because there's something around the earth element, money, finances, the way you're planting seeds, it's not coming from a place of security. It's coming from a place of like poverty consciousness, okay? So this is what I see happening for you right now. You're rebuilding. And I am having a vision of you guys moving away on this beautiful boat. You're moving away on this beautiful, beautiful boat. We have, wow, richness, marine life. I'm getting a lot of blockages in, in water. The water element. My loves, your life needs a flow. Some of you guys are not, not letting your life flow right now. You're not letting anything flow. There's a lot of fear of drowning or it's almost like you're, you're trying to escape something the end of March. And it's because you're really, really feeling unstable right now within your home environment within money. You're doing something that's very extreme to try to keep yourself afloat. But you have, listen, Libra, you have the power of magnetism. You have the power of something very beautiful here. Okay. You have the power of this energy of, you know, you feeling a bit it's almost like your manifestation energy. You feel something's wrong with it here. Something's going on with this manifestation. What is it that you're really fearing, my loves? Because you are so abundant. There's so much abundance here. But I'm also getting so much fear. Wow. Okay. Listen to your heart. Your ancestors are saying, open your heart. You guys need to open your heart. Something about your heart chakra needs tending. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, Libra, let's look into it. Oof. So we do have the Queen of Wands. We have Leo, Sag, Aries. Okay. So Libra, a lot of you guys are dealing with a, a fire sign in your environment. Or you may be this fire sign. And your central theme is how you feel about yourself. Your self-esteem is on the line the end of the month. As we move into this beautiful airy season with a lot of Mars energy. It's really going to be about how do you feel about yourselves. Because what I'm getting here is there is a lot of not feeling good about what you're bringing to the table. Your fire is running towards the end of the stick. It's burning out. And again, the focus is manifestation of money or the earth plane. Yeah. Abundance. And a lot of you are not seeing that you already have the tools in front of you. So Libra, let's continue. Some of you guys have a dream of being a model or you're trying to do something here um, revolving, you know, modeling or it could just be anything around wanting to be center stage. And right now you are not feeling comfortable or you're not feeling confident about this. So let's see, Libra. Wow, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so we do have movement. But a lot of you guys, with the Queen of Wands energy here in reverse, okay, and the Knight of Wands, I am getting that there's just a little bit of some, some maybe feeling as if
you want something different. It's like you want change. You want, you know where you're headed. You know where you're going. But you're having a hard time seeing it through. This is a craving. It's like a desire to want change. You want to really move forward. You want to create adventure. But you're not feeling the fire within you. So let's continue, shall we? So we have the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay. So, Libra, oh my goodness. A lot of you guys are going to be traveling around, I am getting the 21st of this month or the 21st of April. There's going to be travel and new investments. Some of you guys are going to come out of your comfort zone, okay? This may feel a little uncomfortable right away because it's something that you're not used to, but you have to change something. The fact that you're not changing is making you feel like this, like you're just kind of sitting on your pentacle, okay? Some of you are going to choose to invest in something right now. Libra in general, what's happening for you? Yep, so a lot of you guys are going to be working through a specific um, institution. You're choosing to go back to school. You're choosing to, you know, remove yourself from a path of normality, okay? So you're going to choose to take a risk, especially with this Knight of Wands energy here. You're going to take a risk and you're definitely going to move forward. You're going to allow yourself to move in the right direction. The Hierophant is also about very rigid institutions. So maybe if you are a part of some kind of conformity and in institution like a kind of like a union or something like that, you're going to be following. It's like you're following order. Okay. Oof. But either way, some of you, I am getting a lot of school here. You're going to choose to go back to school for a master's. You're, you're deciding to do something you want. It's like you're feeling anxious. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me see here. My loves. Wow. Huge investments coming up. You guys, you guys are going to take a risk. Okay. In matters of money, career. You guys are taking a huge risk, Libra. You are trying to invest and make it happen for yourself. I am getting housing is a thing. You guys want to buy a house. I'm also getting new, you know, my spirit guides are showing me new lines of income. So this is going to be perfect, a perfect time for abundance to restart it. Let's talk about love, Libra. Let's talk about it. Yes. Okay. So Libra in love. Okay. So, ooh. Okay. So Libra, I am having a vision here of a glass shattering. Okay. So there is something shattering here. There's a lot of energy around something shattering. Okay. In love. Something is out in the open. Something is coming to vision. This could be a long-standing relationship that you've had, okay? I am having a vision, Libra, of a Virgo, a Pisces. I'm also having a vision of an Aquarius. So there are a lot of options coming up for you, my loves. A lot of options, okay? But right now, you're kind of confused about your love life. The cup shot, excuse me, the vase shattering is something very important to take note of. In matters of love, there's something here that is abundant in water and in love that is creating maybe a disaster. You know, a vase holds flowers. A vase encompasses a lot of, you know, your emotional sustainment. And this is kind of falling apart right now. What is real and what isn't in love, Libra? Okay, so a lot of you guys are having to face the fact that there's some truth here. Okay, 
there's something about your love life where you'd almost, you'd rather have kind of idealizations in your mind, or you'd rather have connections that aren't real. It's like based off of mental, mental energy. Yeah. So Libra and love. I'm also getting just confusion. You have so many options. So we have the Eight of Cups. So a lot of you guys are letting go of a Scorpio. Specifically, I am getting a water. So it could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It could also be um, someone who has a Virgo ascendant, but you're choosing to walk away temporarily from something. Maybe there's someone that you're sick of. You're just like, listen, I need space. Okay. Some of you guys are like, I just need space. Bottom line. Okay. So, okay. Wow. This isn't going to be easy for some of you. This person is actually someone that you've had a very deep and loving connection to. Maybe it's been very long term. Okay. I feel like there's been a lot of um, what if we, right? A lot of what if we, what if we made it work? What if we, you know, a lot of like conditions, what, 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 what? But there is a lack of bringing it into something more solid, right? So let's go ahead and see here. Yeah, listen, the three of wands and a water element. You guys have been waiting to hear from this person. And as we move into the end of the month, you're waiting. This person is manipulating some energy here and they're at a distance, you guys. So be aware of falling into the trap of, can we try one more time? And then it just doesn't work. They love power. This is what they're in it to do for power. They want power. This is exactly what it's for. Okay. And the three of wands here. very, very symbolic, excuse me, the two of wands is very symbolic of planning. Okay. Planning for the future planning, but this person is never coming through. They're lacking that foresight. You see what I mean? Wow. So let's continue, shall we? Libra in love. Yes, I did see the three of wands. Oh my goodness. So yes, listen, you guys, I'm almost getting a love that you're waiting for. You're still waiting for this person. You're like, are you ever going to come back? Are we ever going to make this work? Is, is this going to be, you know, something we can work on? I am getting love and war. Okay, by tomorrow. Love and war. Okay. Because it's almost like, you know, waiting for this person is going to represent a lot of it's just going to represent a lot of tension for you, right? Because something about this is not working, okay? I don't know why I'm getting, oh, girl, something about this is not working. But you want to try anyway. And this is where we stand, Libra. Ugh. So let's talk about your love life here. We have a Leo, Sag, Aries. Oof. Okay. Some of you guys have a fire sign coming in that is very watchful of you. They really want to see what's going on, specifically in Aries. Okay. I'm getting an Aries masculine, someone who really wants to see what is happening, what's going on with you. Very confident. I'm getting around the 30th, you guys. Oh, the tower in reverse. Okay. This connection has been very private. It's been like a hidden affair or it's something that a lot of people do not know about. 
you're my little secret and that's how we should keep it right it's something like that so a lot of you guys are having to hide this right you you're having to hide this and i i do feel my love something is coming out about this person it cannot be hidden for much longer okay there's something here that's coming out and the truth is coming out yeah so be aware of false beginning Libra. you guys do not want to end up in situations where there's a lot of physicality okay and a lack of love because love matters right love matters so we do have the page of swords in matters of love this person may be at a distance maybe you guys are communicating via text Maybe you guys are communicating via online. Maybe you guys are communicating via, you know, there's some kind of email back and forth. There's something here. Maybe, you know, I am getting a lot of check resumes. Check your notes about this person because there's stuff about this person you don't know. And I am getting it's going to be a shock. Some of you, this person has another person pregnant. I am getting a secret pregnancy here or a third party. So check resumes, Libra. Okay. I love you. Let's get your outcome because in love, you guys have an abundant time in love. But you have to just really hold space for it. If you're not holding space for it, then you guys got to see love from a different perspective. Yeah. We have strength in reverse. This may be a Leo, you guys. You're dealing with a Leo. Listen, your advice is to be strong when it comes to sex or when it comes to like a sexual connection, okay? Let it be something that restrict yourself from indulging in sexual energy that is not committed to just you, number one, because you can actually use this energy to create a love that is going to be reciprocal, For others, this is saying, don't commit to a fire sign who is actually, you know, really taking from your inner power or your inner strength. Right? Don't give away your power because you guys are going to need it. You guys are dealing with someone who seriously, they are not in alignment with where you are. Wait for something that is worth it, Libra. I love you. Bye.